My question is to the leader of the government, Senator Harder. I would like to ask you about the detention of children by the Canada Border Services Agency. Senator Harder, this is not a question that I have asked. Uh, I've asked this question frequently. Senator O and I have asked this question many times because we are worried about the damage that's caused to the children. What worries me is that Minister Goodale, when he was at National Defense, promised to do whatever he could to prevent child detention last year. Yet, despite this promise, it seems to keep happening. According to reports from June, 162 minors were detained by CBSA centers over the last year. Worse yet, 11 of them were held even without being accompanied by an adult. This is unacceptable. When President Trump started to detain migrant children, Prime Minister Trudeau said, and I quote, this is not how we do things in Canada. However, the statistics are painting a very different picture. Leader, if this is not what we do in Canada, why do we still have 162 children, some unaccompanied by adults, in detention? Senator Harder, again, I thank the Honourable Senator for her question and for her and other senators' ongoing interest in this. Um, she will know and senators will know from previous answers to questions in, relating to this subject. I have referenced the $138 million commitment to the National Immigration Detention Framework, which happened a year ago uh, in the fall, so that the government could implement uh, its directives that include uh, ensuring the best interests of the child is the primary factor in considering when to make detention uh, decisions. The Senator will also know that in July 22nd of this year, uh, CBSA launched an expanded alternatives to, to detention program, and the new alternatives to detention will result in fewer people in immigration detention overall, better options for managing vulnerable people or family situations, and greater national consistency in the way individuals are treated. I would like to, though, reference in particular uh, the uh, statistics nationally, um, which are somewhat at variance with the statistics that the Honourable Senator has, has uh, outlined. And if there is a, a difference, we should find a way of reconciling those. Uh, but the number of minors in detention a year ago, quarter one of last year, was 65. In, the, in quarter four, it was 12. Uh, and only two unaccompanied minors. Uh, I am not saying that two isn't of concern. Of course it is. Every individual uh, minor in detention is a cause for concern. But this is in no way ought to be compared to what is happening uh, to our friends in the South. Senator, Senator Harder, I'm not going to quib quibble, sorry, leader, I'm not going to quibble with you about figures. Yours and mine are different. We may be looking at different things, and you know, we can have different figures. My question to you is, if we say we don't do this, we should not do this for anybody. I have been a family lawyer all my life. One of the things that really disturbs me is when, when the minister or you say it's in the best interest of the child. I cannot think of any child's best interest in keeping them in detention. And I don't think anyone here would say it's in the best interest of any child to keep them in detention. Senator Harder, I want to, as a leader, I want to say, put this to you. Um, uh, according to Rachel Kornick, who studied this issue along with several other scholars from McGill University, these children are being held in medium security style prisons where they are constantly monitored by guards, where their personal effects are confiscated, where they don't have adequate education or access to what they need for normal development. Leader, I say to you, if we say this does not happen in Canada, it should not even happen to one child. Can you please convey to Minister Goodale, when is this practice going to stop? Senator Harder, I will indeed convey this to Minister Goodale, who is, as this, the House will know from his appearance in this chamber on this subject, has given a good deal of attention to ensuring the right policy framework is put in place uh, to uh, ensure that the detention of unaccompanied minors uh, is uh, scrutinized at the highest level.